Or I love Alex and Digus mm. asks. I'm slightly confused about Korea's idea of modesty. You hear that you can't wear mini skirts or show abs or shoulders, but you see K-pop idols wearing those looks all the time. Care to explain this? So right off the bat, let's refute the mini skirt idea because yes. good googly goo does Korea like its mini skirts? And not just like mini skirts as on our own. Like we're talking about like a dress. That's like a mini dress. They're like, I've never seen anything so mini before in my life. Yeah. Like in Canada or the States, Korea is really good at mini skirts. No matter what time of year it is too. That's the thing that's amazing. It's like year round mini skirts. Like I don't understand. Like in the winter time, you'll see like really frail girls with really skinny legs wearing mini skirts outside in the winter. How are they not freezing? I can't even wear mini skirts in the winter time. It's cold, man. Your legs are freezing. It doesn't seem like Korean people ever feel the weather. Yeah. They don't sweat in the summer. They don't feel cold in the winter. I have no idea how they do it. Maybe they just don't show it on the surface, but for us, I'm sweating really, really hard right now, and in the winter, I'm freezing my children. They should change their, um, slogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Simon! I can't say Chodum. Sorry. Now the idea about modesty for covering up your shoulders is actually true. So when I first came to Korea, I didn't really think about it. So I just wore like my normal tank tops out. And then I noticed that like everyone wore these little shrugs. So let me show you guys. There's like these little tiny shoulder shrugs. Is this show and tell time? It is. And you put it on and it just like covers like this partial area. And I have like a gazillion of these of like every color of the rainbow. However, I did that for about a year and a half. And then I realized that, oh hey, Korean women don't sweat and smell bad. So their, you know, shrugs are all nice and beautiful condition and mine are getting all sweaty and crotchety in the armpit zone because it's like 40 degrees outside. Armpit crotch? It's like a crotch, but your armpit. Ew. Guys? In my third year in Korea, I'm kind of over the whole shoulder modesty thing, but armpits should be free. Free, free for the air, free for everyone to smell. Carried away. I like how you're telling YouTube that we smell like crap. Yeah. We don't smell as bad as we make ourselves we don't. out to be. I never smelled bad in Canada until I came to Korea. No, thanks Korea for making us feel like <laughs> crap. <laughs> I still love you. So I asked my students a similar question because you know the idols will wear like low-cut shirts or like off-the-shoulder stuff, but my students and other Korean women won't dress that way. So they told me, well, like Korean idols can do that because kind of like a uniform. Mm. So we were thinking about like, like a Halloween costume you could say. Like yeah. in North America, whenever it's Halloween, girls tend to be like the skankier versions of things. <laughs> like here's a skanky nurse, here's a skanky doctor, here's a skanky teacher, here's a skanky Abe Lincoln. Yeah, and it seems to be like acceptable, acceptable on Halloween. You're like, I'm a bunny. <laughs> I'm like, that's a bikini. Uh -huh. But anyways, I kind of think of it the same way. Like it's kind of like Halloween on stage in Korea, mm. except not nearly as skanky as North American Halloween. That being said, there are still things that get banned on television. Like for example, if a girl shows too much of their stomach or mm. if they do something seductive, like mm. kind the of- ground. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Four minute. She hops the ground in the video. Make it the sex to the floor. Anyways, moving along. There have been cases where shows were too sexy and they were like taken off television. So mm. that does happen. Mm -hmm. um, but going out of the idol sphere and back to like the normal Korea sphere, mm -hmm. sexiness is a little bit different in Korea than it is in North America. So for example, we talked about already like showing the shoulders, but a big one is actually showing your back. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a really low V-cut back shirt and you're showing back skin, that's supposed to be like really sexy. Back skin is sexy. Yeah, so like I guess halter tops, like I've actually never seen a halter top in Korea. I don't even know what a halter top is. Really? Education time. That's when you have a string that ties up around your neck. Oh. And then it goes underneath and then your back is bare. You mean you know? an apron? Um, an apron. Oh! Who was wearing it? A girl! A That's girl! That's right! The scandal! Was it so sexy! <laughs> that's that's a that's a halter top! Of course it's not a halter top. Oh no, it's, of course. It's, it's a, a man apron! It's, a, it's not a man apron. It's a mapron. It's a sexy tank top. Yes it is. <laughs> yeah, K-pop guys don't dress the same way. Like in TVXQs, keep your head down. I don't really see Korean guys walking around with like Owl sofas, suits on. prints on their clothes. Yeah. So just a quick recap. Sexy lower torso, acceptable. Mm -hmm. Sexy upper torso, unacceptable. So that's it for this week's TLDR. If there's a question you want us to answer for next week's TLDR, leave your question in the Google Moderator page. Or you can check out questions that you like and you can vote them up or vote them down. And also, 
How do we choose our questions? If you look in the corner, there's a sort by popularity button. Mm. Push that and it'll sort everything in a real like logical fashion. So that's how we choose. Show my chest here to the oh world. Oh my.